The event is going to be the first 24 hour team mountain bike race in England. It's never been done in this country before. Red Bull asked me to create something for British mountain biking which was different uh, and we came up with this idea. The course is just under 10 miles long. It's mountain biking but it's less technical, more endurance. Um, we were looking for an event that was um, sort of for the stamina to, and people would last the course more than fall off and break legs. Uh, we've got 120 teams varying from the giant UK team to the rally professional team from England. We also have a unique, the, the man who's riding number one is Gary Fisher from America. He's bringing a, a Gary Fisher team over and Gary is the man who actually invented mountain biking. On the giant team here we have uh, Robin Seymour, Jamie Norfolk, Robert Miller and myself. Uh, I usually manage the team but for this event I'm just making up the numbers. So really I'm coming out of uh, retirement to come back and ride this race. There's never been a race like this before in the UK. Uh, it would have been a 24 hour event. Nobody really knows what to expect from it. But uh, we're all very much looking forward to it. Our team really is made up of a mix of some old professional road riders who have turned to mountain biking and also of some young mountain bikers who are very very talented uh, particularly with te on the technical side and I think the combination of both should work out quite well in an event like this because it's not just like a short mountain bike race there's a lot of endurance involved and hopefully we will be uh, able to add a bit to it. professional in Europe for 15 years, uh, riding road bikes, uh, so there's no challenge left to come back to this country, so I do mountain biking for fun really. I think mountain biking is more entertainment for the actual like, person doing it, the rider, than compared to just riding on the road. It's, I don't think it's really the nature stuff, it's a bit more, it's a bit more excitement just to do the actual, be able to do the course and do it, try and do it fast, and scare yourself a few times and fall off and not hurt yourself too bad. I think that's what attracts me to it. I don't have a problem with going uphill. It's a down the other going down the other side of I don't like. I'm usually more more stressed going down the going downhill than I am. But the uphill bit's not a problem. The general like power thing is not a problem, it's just the, the skill thing I have. I don't I'm not good at it. So I like compensate with a bit a bit too much power on again because it's a difficult thing to get traction and stuff, which is something else I need to learn. races at an elite level in, in England are basically five laps of a five to six mile course that so works out at between 25 to maybe 35 miles and um, they usually take about two and a quarter to two and a half hours. This race is going to be a lot different because there's there's two factors really. A, the, the race itself is going to be over 24 hours and we're, we're going to have to do about six hours each um, but that's going to be split up so that's going to be a bit different too. It's going to be split up uh, an hour and then you have a three hour break and then another hour riding and then another three hour break so it's going to be that adds in extra problems and difficulties. Week in week out we race same kind of races two two and a half hours um, you know and it's just the same thing week in week out but this is going to be completely different it's going to be something that none of us nobody there is going to have done it before um, the tactics and the way to do it is going to be you know interesting and yeah it's, it's uh, certainly going to be a bit of fun I think as well it's just things like like punches and, and the occasional broken chain is, is normally all that happens um, and you have to be prepared to, to fix those as quick as you can you know and get back on the bike and it's not just fixing the problem it's it's the breaking rhythm and and getting and getting back into it you know which is which is quite often the difficult thing mentally as, as well as physically well to, to try and keep the bashing down as much as possible um, there's the suspension at the front on my bike here I've also got a suspension seat post which is um, elastomer spring in, inside the post the gears on a mountain bike have got eight sprockets at the back and at the front we've got three the brakes um, so we call it a V brake with a, with a longer caliper on um, which makes it a lot more powerful um, because that's another problem when you're riding a bike for a long time and especially in something like the 24 hour to get towards the end it's, it's not just the legs that are doing a lot of work it's the arms as well tires a um, number of different types of tread pattern depending on on the conditions um, you know very knobbly tires when it's very muddy when it's drier much slicker tread um, these days um, 
the tyres are getting you know really really slick with very little grip on them. Um, you know, as, as, as riders I suppose are getting better and they've got more control, you need kind of less grip on the tyre. One other thing that's going to be important in the 24 hour, which is not normally a factor in a, in a normal race, um, is that we've actually got we're going to have to have lights on the bike at night so that we can see where we're going. Um, and on here we've got uh, you know, pretty much um, state of the art set of Vista lights. Um, we've got a 15 watt and a 10 watt bulb at the front. Um, so we can run with just say the 15 watt on for the, the more open sections, on the more technical sections through the woods on the downhills. We can then switch on the 10 watt as well, so we've got a bigger beam and we can, you know, we can see where we're going. And that's going to be quite important, having a, a good set of lights on the bike. Um, as I say, in a normal race, that's not something that we'd have to worry about, so that's going to be a little bit different for us as well.